This is Easy English, a channel dedicated for English learning. Video number five: Negative sentences of present indefinite tense. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of Allah, the Most Merciful, the Most Beneficent. Hello, viewers. I, Munazza Noman, welcome you all to Easy English. My friends, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. It's the matter of immense pleasure for us that we are improving ourselves day by day, and the reason is just to allocate the time for learning. Today we'll practice the last unsolved exercise of negative sentences given in English grammar and composition book by following the same structure which we shared in video four. Let's share the structure: subject plus auxiliary. And which auxiliary we are going to use? Do not, does not. First form of verb plus object, or rest of the sentence. My friends, one more reminder: with I, we, you, they, and with plural, do not will be used. And with he, she, it, and singular, does not will be used. Sentence number one: He does not repent on sin. Here pronoun is he, so we used does not. Then first form of verb repent. Repent means to feel sorry or regret on wrongdoing. He does not repent on sin. Sentence two. You do not admit your fault. You do not admit your fault. We can make the sentence like this. You do not accept your mistake. Admit means accept. And fault means mistake, dispraise or reprehend. Sentence number three: Uninteresting books do not sell like hotcakes. In sentence three, uninteresting books (plural) so we used do not. Uninteresting books do not sell like hotcakes. To sell like a hotcake is an idiom, and it means fastest selling product in large quantity. On the contrary, interesting books sell like hot cake. Sentence number four: The stars do not shine during the day. Stars are plural, so we used do not. Stars do not shine during the day. Sentence five: He does not listen to me. With he, what auxiliary we will use? Just recall, please. Exactly. That's why we construct the sentence like this: He does not listen to me. Sentence six. I do not recognize the stranger. Pronoun I we used do not. I do not recognize this stranger. Recognize means to know or remember someone or something because of previous interaction or experience. To acknowledge formally. Stranger means someone whom we do not know, unfamiliar, foreigner, alien, non-native, outlander, outsider, or new. Sentence seven. We do not know you. With the pronoun we, the auxiliary we are going to use do not. We do not know you. Sentence eight. All the boys do not make mischief. All the boys, third person plural. That's why we used do not. All the boys do not make mischief. Mischief means annoying activity, activity which can cause trouble, harmful behavior, playful desire to cause trouble, wickedness, devilishness. Sentence nine. Wise man does not commit such a mistake. Wise man, third person singular. We used does not. Wise man does not commit a mistake. Commit means to do, to make, to accomplish. Sentence ten. The sun does not revolve around the earth. The sun, third person singular, so auxiliary does. We used along with not. We can also say the negative auxiliary. The sun does not revolve around the earth. 
my friends revolve means to turn around a central point to move in a curved path on axis sentence 11 the moon does not appear in the evening these days the moon third person singular and auxiliary we used here does along with not it means the negative auxiliary we are going to use here for making the negative sentence the moon does not appear in the evening these days appear means come in sight or to come in view sentence 12 the wood does not sink in water the wood third person singular for making negative sentence, again, we are going to use negative auxiliary, does not. The wood does not sink in water. My dear friends, here sink means to go down below the surface of water, to move down to a lower position or to go to the bottom. One more important point to note here that sink means when an object overweighs and it goes down the liquid whereas drown means death because of the suffocation under water and dead body settles in the bottom the wood sinks in the water present in the infinite she fell in the sea and drowned past in the infinite come on sentence 13 the piece of iron does not float on water the piece of iron third person singular so we used does not for making the negative sentence. The piece of iron does not float on water. My friends, float means to rest on top of liquid, drift, glide or hover. Floating goes along with the flow of water. Swimming actually needs muscular strength and body movement. A piece of wood floats on water present and definite she swims skillfully in the river present and definite did you note the difference okay come on 14 sentence akbar does not save anything akbar third person singular that's why we used negative auxiliary does not akbar does not save anything my friends save means to keep safe or to stop from ending sentence 15 we do not tease anyone for nothing. In our last sentence, pronoun is we. And again, by keeping the rule, we used auxiliary do along with not for constructing negative sentence. We do not tease anyone for nothing. Tease means to criticize in an unfriendly, cruel, playful or unkind way. My friends, that's all for today. In next video, we'll proceed towards the third category, interrogative sentences. The tense will be same, present and definite. That will also be comprised on the basic structure of interrogative sentences. After its completion, we'll move towards the solution of unsolved exercise from grammar and composition book for board classes. Keep learning. Keep excelling. Take care.